Hey everybody. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see me, but that's not really important because I have this, I don't know how to say it, Sag Giant, Sag Giant. I have no idea. The link will be in the description box of this video. Um, this is not an unboxing because I already took it out of the box. So I don't know if there's a such thing as an out of boxing, but that's what I'm going to call this. So let me scoot that over here and push this back. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, I only have a short period of time to examine this and see if I like it. This was going to be my train case and I saw another one. Sorry for the noise. Hopefully you guys can see this. You guys know I always do some type of camera check at some point and uh, my chair is like in the way. So I'm going to get a little close here to see what you guys can see. Okay, perfect. Perfect lighting too. I think my kitchen is starting to be my new recording spot or one of my favorites. All right, so um, I'm just going to open this up and let's see what's in here. As you can see, I did not take it out of the packaging. There's supposed to be some keys. Hopefully they're not down inside of the main box it came out of. Oh, that is so neat, you guys. This thing is a lot smaller than I thought I did bring my tape measure because I forgot to write down at least what size it is. So even on wheels, it's not gonna be that tall. And uh, just thought about that. Close that back, so I'm gonna measure it. Okay, so what do we have going here? I'm almost gonna have to sit on the floor, you guys. Okay, uh, height-wise, roughly speaking, it is, might as well call it about 17 and a half inches by, make sure I get to the corners here, by 13 inches. And if we go with, what would this be? The depth, I think nine inches okay so now i'm going to open this back up since i realized that i am going to start doing my nails you guys saw the videos i posted like i said i'm a beginner here are the keys that's what i bought it for and you know what i did not bring over anything i want to put inside of it i really want to just focus on this so here's the wheels And basically, this is a, like I said, a train case. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, this other train case that's coming tomorrow has a run for its money. I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I think that everything that I review deserves at least one or two reviews. And even if I do the side-by-side -side comparison, then each item deserves to have its own individual review. Okay, especially if I'm going to post the video. So you can see the stuff that it comes with here. Um, I don't think, no, the little ring thing here is not removable. This is um, over here. There is, let's see, I don't wanna, no, you can't lift that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I do not wanna break my nails. It comes with this. And the holes here are bigger than the holes over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, this holds, let's see, let's count them. Is that a hole too? Oh, that is a hole. Is it easier to see from this side? Okay, I'll give you like a, a rough estimate count. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 bottles. I thought it said 21 on the paperwork, but I guess um, 22 bottles. And if you don't, let me pull that back. If you don't want to slide this over, have that in there. Now you have a deeper case. Okay, so I will set that to the side. I'm going to make sure I put that back in there and um, push this back. I believe this. Yeah, it does. Look at that. How cool is that? This slides out pretty far. I think that's as far as it goes. 
Um, if you want a measurement of once it's fully open like that, let's measure. We are looking at 32 and a half inches, fully extended out that way. I'm trying to keep my hands all the way here. I think this is really cool. I thought that this, for some reason, even though I kept reading that it wasn't attached, that it kind of was in a way maybe with like a ribbon or something like that, but it's not, it's completely removable. I like how it has the handles. And um, these are customizable. You can move them wherever you want. They're fairly easy. I think it's just I'm trying to hold this and film at the same time. Um, I believe, I could be wrong, but I think, I want to say this whole entire foam thing comes out. I'm not sure, but just in case I decide I like the other one better, which I don't know, you guys, it's going to be a close call. See that? And if you want to know how big this is, this, the idea of it is for it to be able to sit here. That's the way they show it. So when they pull it, they just do this in one motion. That's why I thought that it was attached somewhat. Um, measurement for this, I think they're calling this a removable tray. We have 12 and a half by seven inches. And then, oh, this way. This across here is roughly, yeah, 21 and a half, actually, exactly. Okay, and then it has the compartment down here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so very, very simple. And I know I said I wasn't gonna try and put anything in it, but I do, um, I do wanna see, let's remove this for a second. Because my lamp came today, uh, that uh, telescoping fan I told you guys about came and I'm not going to put that in there even though it can fold all the way down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some nail stuff and you guys are going to hear noise. Okay, so my chair is going to roll and I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff. And that was good because I got to see what you guys can see. I'm going to set all this stuff here on the counter. I'm going to grab some more goodies. Sorry about that, you guys, and let me do a quick camera check. Okay, we're still rolling. We're good. All right. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but I am curious now. The whole purpose of buying this. Um, okay, so, like I said, even though I am a serious beginner in doing my nails, you guys know I did my fill yesterday and I had to clean it up today. My eyes got tired. I couldn't see. Um, and the lighting was kind of off and I guess you shouldn't really do your nails when you have to have all your lights in the kitchen, right? Okay, but I am curious to see. Oh, that bottle is too big. Okay, we're going to pop some stuff out. Um, the average size fingernail polish bottle, I believe is, uh, what is that, 15 milliliters? Don't quote me on that though. Okay, so we have this here, right? And we're going to put that back down in there. And there's a company that sells those separate. It's shipped and sold by them. Oh, that's kind of a tight squeeze. But um, these are 14.7 um, milliliters, I guess, bottles. So the average no polish bottle actually is 0.5 ounces. Okay, so let me correct that. That's just a little under 15, right? Okay, um, these here, got some toe things here. I can stand them up or lay them flat. 
hair, some more brushes. I bought this for different powders and there's different sizes in here. Savvy Land, I guess is how you would say it. Um, I believe there are, let's see. I don't know how many brushes are. I don't think that I'm gonna end up doing a review on that, but let's see if it fits. Oh no, it does not fit there. Will it fit here? No, okay, so you would have to take these out of the box and you know what, might as well. There are five brushes in here. I plan on keeping them in the box, but if I decide I like this case more, I, apparently I'm gonna have to take them out of the box. And I should have known. Okay, so if they are, if the box is too long, obviously, I should have thought about that. And I don't wanna turn it, it can go sideways, but I mean you, oh, well, you know what? Actually, it's a tight squeeze. This drawer here, no, but I don't know if you guys can see that. No, it would get stuck. I'll put these back in order later. And then this, I mean, yeah, I could sit this here, but obviously I would end up closing it up. So I think what I would do is I would leave them in the box. They're very well protected. You can't even tell their brushes until you open them up all the way, but I would probably put this down in here like this. Oop, that fell over. And then here's my drill. Um, if fingernail polish is in here, obviously no. But I mean, if you did like one row and then want to put that in there, you'll probably take it out of the box. The drill itself you guys saw when I did the other videos is pretty small, but the thing is it comes with a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, the drill bits, with the grinders on them, the cords in here. There's no, what do you call that, the power adapter? But let's see. I know I would have bottles in there. That was the whole reason why I like this case. So we're gonna put this down in here. And like I said, the brushes fell over. Everything's falling over. And then also we're gonna test and see what happens if we put that tray back in. Okay, here are some nails. Um, obviously no and no time being if I was actually doing something yes but we can see here those would have to go there and I would take this out of the box you saw I opened the box but I haven't tried the lens yet and the stuff just fell again I'm glad those nails are inside that case you guys but I think the bigger ones came in a bag or something like that. This comes with goodies. I'll tell you guys more about this if I record today to paint, because I did say I was gonna paint some of my nails today, but I really wanna just paint and then try to put those resin charms on. And then here is the instructions. So we won't go into this because it is about this case, the trend case, but that will fit in there. Let me put the instructions back over here. Um, most likely I would not have this in here, but since I'm gonna leave this package for a second, I'm gonna put this, oh, it won't fit like this. Gotta turn it like that. And you know what, you guys, I bought a case to go for this so that it's padded. And I'm seeing now that that's probably gonna be a problem. I'm probably gonna have to return it. I think it's shipped already, but it's gonna have to go down in here this way. And I think I'm gonna have to turn it this other way. But yeah, the whole point was for it to have some type of cushion. And in that case, there's um, a thing kind of similar to, oh, that all fits on one side like that, okay. There's a thing similar to this thing that was over here, um, this foam, I don't know what you're gonna call that. Uh, no polished bottle holder. I mean, you can use essential oils or whatever you wanna put in there. You can use this case for all different types of things. But yes, the other separate case has a handle and it's a two part and I don't think it comes apart, but underneath that compartment holes, I think it's like 40 bottles of finger oil polish. So I was trying to maximize my space. Um, tray back in because we did say we're gonna see. I think the whole point of that was to have a sitting there and I know that that case is actually gonna come all the way out here. So dimensional wise, I'm thinking, I don't know if it's gonna fit in there and then I guess the good thing is, is if it does fit in here, I wish I had it today 
that everything came today because I would show you guys, I would pack it in there and then the nails and um, my drill, especially if I'm gonna keep it in the box and then the brushes would go in that case and the top part. Okay, so that would actually open up some space in, I don't know, to a certain degree. Okay, so I would really have to see. I probably will test that because that case is supposed to come tomorrow along with the other train case. Okay, so let's close everything up and see what happens. Um, I'm curious. I do not want to break these. These are new. Those are those cuticle oils I bought from Walmart. Slide's pretty easy. I'm just really gentle with stuff. Okay, like that. And let's see. And I will, oh, no, mm -mm, that wouldn't work. Yeah, so those bottles would go in there. Like I said, that was the whole point. That was the main selling point for me was that. Let me take this out because I don't want to lose any of my stuff if I do decide that I like the other case better. Let me put these back in the little hole thingies here. Um, I would put the wheels on, but I don't want to do that because I think they click into place and I don't want to break this thing if I plan on sending it back. But we do have my other stuff down there, so let's close this up. Okay, and... Oh, you know what? No. I thought this was a Ziploc bag. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not. I'm not going to rip this open because if I don't want to keep it, I definitely do not want these keys to get lost. But yeah, it's a neat little case. I know you guys probably want to see how well does it roll. This isn't a Ziploc bag, but what I'll do is instead of attaching it, since I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it almost packaged how it was. The reason why I like this is because there's a total of eight wheels and I think the other one only has four. I have to look. Okay, so that's on that surface. Let's move this out of the way. Ooh, that has some weight to it. Okay, so I guess it would spin. These do not. See that? When that's attached on there, um, like I said, it's pretty heavy. So, yeah, that's it. What I will do is when I get the other case tomorrow, if I have time, depending on when everything comes in the mail, um, let me go ahead and put this back here. Oh, handle while I'm talking. Um, if I do decide to keep it, then on the side by side, uh oh, you know what, you guys? Mm, let's roll that down. Let's see. Is it my nails or is it stuck? I was about to say I would have to send it back even if I like this one more. It's supposed to go up one more. Let's see what happens. Ooh, you guys, I think that's what this lady was talking about. It's supposed to go up, I think, to here. Does it have to go all the way down? No, there's no way, you guys. If I stand up, uh-oh, that's not good, you guys. I'm glad I did this because I know for a fact it's supposed to go up higher. Let's see, is it the pins? Mm-mm. Oh, such a pretty case. Mm -hmm. Let's try to go down one more time. I believe yeah all the way down there's one there's two there is no way that's it am I not pushing down hard enough oh I don't want to break my nails I haven't even painted them no oh my gosh wow <laughs> okay so it's gonna fight you um I'm glad I did that like I said you guys really need to see and you're gonna get a second review of it with it next to the other one. The other one I'll do a separate review as well. And then I'll do the side by side. I might have time to do all, all of that tomorrow. Uh oh. I believe it's supposed to be able to go up one more. 
Okay, it's really gonna fight you. I don't wanna have to push this down all the time. Let's use it both in, yeah. Okay, let's go down. It looks like it expands more. There's two more holes on the inside. You guys can't see that. Um, possibly, let's see. All right, all the way down. One more time, you guys. Okay, I believe it's supposed to go one, two, three. Well, apparently you don't have to. I do not want to break this. Um, it's sufficient enough. I really should stop trying before I break your product without knowing if I'm going to keep it. And like I said, with eight wheels, I think it's going to be easier to roll. Just speaking from experience, from having just regular luggage, I hate when it has like four wheels. I like the eight wheels and I like when it can do 360. That's the only thing I didn't check. Totally forgot because this is not luggage I would be taking for a trip. This would pretty much stay at home. Um, I really am curious about the keys if it works, but I'll tell you guys what. I'm going to have to make a decision in the side-by-side -side video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to make a decision which one do I want to keep because then I can show you guys because I would hate to, to decide to keep this and then find out that the keys don't work. Okay, so that will be the main thing. I'll make sure... And you know what? Like I said, I'm looking at it thinking it's supposed to go up higher. You guys have to go check out the link. I thought that it said it went up like 30 something inches and it just might be okay. Let me get out of the chair. Let me see. Get down here. From the bottom to the top. Oh, that's centimeters. Uh, let's see. All right. We got 29 inches. But if I remember correctly, this handle is supposed to go up to 42. And I don't think I'm thinking of the other case. Um, I do have it pulled up. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm just going to keep rolling. Okay. All right. Yeah. Had to check the seconds. That's all I can see. Okay. So 32.6 inches is how high this is supposed to go up. But I don't see how because I count it. And in the picture, let me turn this around. It showed two big pieces, two small pieces. Okay, so why this is appearing to be able to go up more, I don't know. Because I'm pulling, I'm pulling pretty hard, you guys. Look at that. Um, there's two more notches, but I don't, I don't see it happening. Even if I were to stand up, are they both in? Yup. Okay, I'm gonna stop trying. But that's what the dimensions say. Um, I can semi kind of see my screen from over here. I don't know. You saw me measure it. It was what, 29 inches? Um, if you can figure out how to get it. I mean, personally, I guess because I won't really be traveling with this unless maybe we're driving somewhere. Then I won't worry about the fact that I guess you're supposed to get like, what's that? Another, uh, let's see, 29. Okay, so 30, 31, 32. That's like roughly about another three inches is what it's claiming a little over to be able to go up. But overall, it's a nice case. And I really don't want to scrape it on the floor. Pretty much looks the same all the way around. So, yeah. So far as I'm concerned, I really... Think it's nice it's heavy duty like I said if you try to pick this thing up it's heavy with just the few things that you saw me put in there okay so like I said tomorrow if I have time then I'll do a side-by-side -side. I'll show you guys the other case what is this oh it's like some stringy stuff 
I'll probably wipe it off if I'm going to keep it. But for now, I think I'm going to package it back up and put it back in the box. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to get kind of close to stop my phone from recording. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you like the color? Do you like the size? Would you buy it? Um, I know you want to see, like I said, the rolling functionality. So if I do decide to keep it, then the unboxing side-by-side uh, -side comparison is going to be probably a little bit longer. As a matter of fact, it won't be an unboxing. Knowing me, the minute that case gets here, the train case, I'm going to open it up. Um, I believe the difference is there's another compartment here. And it, this piece has to come off to get access to this. Okay, so... I'll show you guys all of that tomorrow and then we'll look at them and see which one we like. Okay. You guys have a great day.